Mabuhay mga kabataan! Hello! How are you doing? Guess what? You can be a hero! And the title of this presentation is Heroes Sana All. In English, Heroes I Hope All. Yes, this is a mini lesson for Filipino-American students at the Paralan sa Consulado here at the Philippine Consulate in New York City. Come on, join me and let's talk about Filipino heroes. Okay, ready? Here we go. Now, you probably know these Filipino modern heroes. They give you a sense of Pinoy pride. Why? Because they represent our country in the international stage. You watch them on TV. You watch them on YouTube. Guess who are they? Yes, the one on this side is who? Yes, that is the famous Lea Salonga, a world-renowned Broadway singer. Here in New York, kilalang kilala siya. Okay, the next one, kilala nyo to? Who's this? Alright, that's Manny Pacquiao, a world champ boxer. And also a politician now, and in the future, we don't know what else he could be. Now, who are these beautiful ladies? Ah, yes, you probably cheered for them in the previous years. They are the Miss Universe from the Philippines. All over the world, they were ranked number one. And their names are Gloria Diaz, Margie Moran, Pia Wurzbach, and Catriona Gray. They are awesome women, very powerful women, women of substance. And they've proven to the world that they can be the best. They could be beautiful outside and inside. Now, these are the modern-day heroes our global Pinoys, and they're spread out all over the world. Who are they? Yes, the overseas Filipino workers. Guess what? Some of your parents could be working just like what they're doing, right? Yes. And we salute them because they help bring dollars back to our country and thus raise the economy. And this is another modern day heroes, and during these COVID times, You've seen them at work. Who are they? Yes, the frontliners and the health workers. Thanks to them, you were, we are surviving and things are getting a little better. Why are we talking about all of these modern heroes? It's because, guess what? Yes, the young Phil Ann, the young student just like you, can also be a hero. And a hero in Tagalog, in Filipino, is called a bayani. Bayani. And what's your proof, Ram, to say that I can be a bayani? Guess what? It's in your blood. Okay? Your ancestors have proven this. We will now go back to the past and see how they have shown their heroism through the good things, the brave things that they have done, not just for themselves, but for our nation. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's start with the empowered women. The first one is Melchora Aquino. Melchora. We call her Tandang Sora. Yes, she's, she's kind of old. But guess what? When during her early age, she was already literate, meaning she can read and write well. She can even sing. She offers her singing in the church. Maybe she's part of the choir, just like some of you. And she operated a store. And through that store, she became the refuge for the sick and wounded revolutionaries. Yes, she fed them. She gave them medical attention and even encouraged the revolutionaries with, their, with her motherly advice and with her prayers. Awesome. That's why she's called the Grand Woman of the Revolution. We salute you, the mother of Balintawak. Mabuhay ka, Melchora Aquino. The next Filipino leader is Gabriela Silang. Okay, she's a female leader of the Ilocano Independence. From the Ilocanos are the ones in the north. Okay, she took over her husband who died, who is Diego Silang. And because, you know, he continued the fight, he led the people for four more months of fighting. Look at this picture. She's riding a horse with her sword, okay, ready to fight, okay, and ready to offer her life. 
And sadly though, she was captured and executed by the colonial government. See, he's ready to sacrifice her life for the sake of independence. Another brave woman, a modern woman, is Corazon Aquino. A president can be a hero. Yes, she's the 11th president and she assumed presidency. She became the first lady president of our country after the term of Ferdinand Marcos. Because of people power, all right, the term of President Marcos ended because Marcos has been ruling for 20 years and people were not happy by the way he rules and people revolted and that was called people power. And the widow of Senator Benigno Aquino, who is another hero, that's Cory Aquino, became the president. And you know, she ruled the country with sincerity and with honesty, yes. And the best thing she, she has done, they said, was the drafting of the 1987 constitution, which limited the powers of the president now. So that, you know, a president wouldn't last for 20 years and abuse the power anymore. And guess what? Even her son, Benigno Aquino III, became the president of the country. She's known to be the mother of democracy. And this is her famous sign, Laban. Laban means to fight. Now, our native ancestors and our Muslim brothers or sisters are also heroes. For example, the best example is Lapu-Lapu. He was a Datu of Mactan in the Visayas. Visayas is the middle part of the Philippines. He is best known for the Battle of Mactan in 1521, where he and his warriors defeated the forces of Portuguese explorer, a very famous explorer all over the world known as Ferdinand Magellan and his allies, okay, together with Rahu Mabon and Datu Zula. Very brave indeed. Look at this scene. Okay, goodbye Magellan. Filipino power is always very strong and very brave. Now, Muhammad Dipatuan Kudarat is the seventh sultan of Maguindanao. During his reign, you know what, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, the Mindanao area was not really influenced by the Catholicism spread by the Spanish. You know, he fought off Spanish invasion and halted the spread of Catholicism on the island of Mindanao. That's why until now, there is still a big population of Muslim brothers down in the south. Thanks to Mohammed di Patuan, Kudarat. Now artists, who are artists? Raise your hand. Do you like drawing? Do you like painting? Okay. Do you like making sculptures? Guess what? You can also be a hero. Just like Juan Luna. Juan Luna is a famous Filipino painter, sculptor, and political activist during the 19th century. This is his famous painting which won an award in the 1884 Madrid Exposition. It is called Spoliarium, all right? And guess what? Luna painted literary and historical scenes. Yeah, this is a historical scene of the gladiators back then, but it has some underscore of political commentary. Behind the art are messages against a, a bad government, against the bad Spanish government and the abuses they have done towards the native Filipinos. Activists, yeah, who are the activists here? Activists are very passionate about their ideals and they will really fight hard to attain these goals. Now, check this out. Andres Bonifacio, yes. Andres Bonifacio is the father of the Philippine Revolution. He was one of the founders of the Kataas-taasan Kagalang-galangang Katipunan or ng Anak ng Bayan. It is called the Katipunan. It is a movement that sought the independence of the Philippines from the Spanish colonial rule. And that started the revolution. See, he's very brave. Just like Gabriela Silang, he will fight those guns with 
our native arms. Now, thinkers and writers can also be heroes, right? You don't need to fight all the time, but you can fight through your thoughts, through your writings. Like Jose Rizal. Okay, guess what? The real name of Jose Rizal is Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Realonda. He is considered the national hero or Pambansang Bayani of the Philippines. And guess what? He is a doctor by profession. Doctor of the eye. Now, he is a writer and a key member of the Philippine propaganda movement which advocated political reforms for the colony under Spain. Okay? He was executed by the Spanish colonial government for the crime of rebellion after the Philippine Revolution. And how did he do his revolution? Through writings like the Noli Metangere and the El Filibusterismo, which is a novel or poems or essays that would say something that would expose the abuses of the Spanish government here in our country. He exposed it to the world through stories. Another hero is Marcelo del Pilar. Okay, his name is Plaridel. Okay, together with Jose Rizal and Graciano Lopez Aena became known as the leaders of the reform movement in Spain. So he was in Spain. He left the country, but even if he is outside the country, he kept on fighting against the abuses of the Spanish government. He was in prison. Okay, after he and he and the Paris priest quarreled over exorbitant baptismal fees. He would even go against the church and expose the abuses of the church. Okay, he went to Spain in 1888 after an order of banishment was issued against him. Okay, he became the editor also of La Solidaridad. Okay, again through writings. Persons with disability can also be heroes. Apolinario Mabini. Okay, he is a leader, educator, lawyer, statesman who served first as a legal and constitutional advisor to the revolutionary government. He is actually the first prime minister of the Philippines upon the establishment of the first Philippine Republic. He is called the brains of the revolution or utak ng himagsikan. Okay? He, he lost the use of both his legs due to polio, right? But despite that, he continued to serve his country and offered his best advices to improve the Philippine government. Now, government officials and servants, yes, you can always be a hero. Just like Benigno Aquino. Benigno Aquino, by the way, is the husband of Cory Aquino, yes. He was a senator back then from Tarlac and he helped form the leadership of the opposition towards then President Ferdinand Marcos. So he led the opposition against him. Okay, He is the most not notable critic of the Marcos regime. Okay, Although sadly though, in 1983 when he came back from a self in post exile he was shot to death in the airport and now that airport is called the Nino Aquino International Airport because of his death it has inspired people to fight to continue the fight against the Marcos regime Emilio Aguinaldo a soldier a Filipino revolutionary statesman military leader who is officially recognized as the first and the youngest president of the Philippines. Yes, the president can also be a hero as long as you uphold what is good for the country. He led the Philippine forces first against Spain in the Philippine Revolution, then in the Spanish-American War, 1898, and finally against the United States, during the Philippine-American War. Again, he really fought for the independence of our country, the Philippines.
Now, let's conclude. What's the point of these heroes? They're already dead. They're all in the textbooks. We just read about them. Now, the purpose of knowing them is to prove to you, young people, that yes, like them, you can also be a hero. Yes, even if you're outside the Philippines, you can be a Filipino hero. So now we're convinced that we need to be a hero. We have to develop the following characteristics of being a hero. All right, so let's read the following. Number one, bravery. Are you ready to face challenges and difficult situations? Conviction. Do you stand to your truths and fight for them? Courage. Do you have the guts to face your demons and your trials? Determination. Are you determined or do you continue to stand up every time you fall? Every time you get discouraged, do you continue doing what is good? That's determination. Next one is helpfulness. Do you always think of how to help the needy and the poor people and the disadvantaged people? Or do you need reminders for, from others so that you could help them? No, you should do it by your own will. Next is honesty. Are you sincere in thoughts, words, and action? Inspiration. Does your life inspire others to be like you? Do they look at you as a model? Moral integrity. Does your life decisions reflect the goodness that is in you? Protective. Do you feel the need to protect the rights of those who are vulnerable, of those who are less secure in life? Self-sacrifice. Can you share your time, your talent, and treasure for the sake of others, even if they don't pay you back? Selflessness. Can you forget your needs and wants for the good of others? Think about it, young people. If you can develop these values, then I'm sure you can be a hero. And of course, lastly, strength. Strength. Do you have the energy in your body and soul to be of service to others? And a good example for all of you would be Larry Itliong and Philip Vera Cruz. They are Filipino Americans. Yes, they're not from the Philippines. They're here from the USA. And in 1965, they fought for the rights, for the wages, the salaries, and equality of the Filipino workers back in California. And I urge you to research about their lives and be inspired to be heroes like them. And now let's conclude, young people. You are the hero that you can be. Now, this is the secret. What you are is God's gift to you. So there's a gift that the Lord has given you. But you don't know it yet because you're young. Your goal is to discover it. Oh, this gift, probably the gift I discovered is drawing. I'm very good in drawing. Yes, since you discovered it, you develop it. What else can I do to improve my drawing? Maybe I should enroll in after school. Maybe I should learn more stuff in YouTube. Maybe I should read some books. Yes, while you're doing that, you are practicing it and you are developing it. You, you devote hours and hours of practice to develop it. And lastly, you're going to use that drawing skill. You will use that singing talent, that dancing talent, that, that artistry that you have. You're using it. And listen, what you become, whether you become a famous artist, a famous sportsman, a famous lawyer, or you don't even have to be famous as long as you're very good at it, what you become will be your gift to others. Because God gave that talent, not just for you, but it's meant to be shared. And therefore, once you started sharing it to others, you're helping your fellow Filipinos, your fellow Americans, and what you become will be eventually goes back it will be your gift to god all right so you're a hero say it to yourself i am a hero say it i am a hero say it 
Ako ay isang bayani. Say it. Ako ay isang bayani. Ayos. Mabuhay ka. Bye.